Well, hello everyone. I am back. Um, I haven't been here in a while. I was going to do a part two review, but I did a little bit of time, you know, 100 hours, around 100 hours, more than 100 hours on Space Engineers, and now I can tell you for a fact that I really like this game. Um, some of the things uh, that I was going to include for the uh, second review was how the progression, I don't really like the progression, uh, it still kind of holds up, uh, this is the progression that I'm talking about, this thing, it's like a tech tree, except instead of points you actually have to build each one, and that's just, nah, I don't have time for that, um, but other than that, it's the, the steep learning curve, as I called it, um, it's more of just uh, imagine relearning Minecraft, as in you have never seen Minecraft once in your life, and for the first time ever you're playing it. That's pretty much what it is. So you spend around 24 hours learning everything, learning pretty much everything, and then that's it. You're pretty much good for the game. Um, so over 100 hours safe to say that this is a pretty good game this is like minecraft but in space and on top of that there's no lag and uh, on top of that it doesn't involve lengthy mods and you can play it on the xbox you can play it on the ps5 and you can play it on the pc like i am so yeah uh in this case i'm on the planet triton and i'm just going to show you some basic uh items that you would have to get from your spawn pod right behind me and how you set it all up so first you're going to start with the spawn pod uh, so usually instead of a control seat you would have a passenger seat and for that you can't do anything there's no buttons you cannot control with the passenger seat you have to control with the control seat so you grind that up and you put a control seat uh, replace with it. Um, next one, this is optional, but it's also lengthy. You would grind pretty much everything off. As in, you'd grind everything off, and then you would take thrusters that are already there, and then put a gyroscope. In this case, I put it on the back, but this is a new design. You would also, uh, you could also put it on the front and uh, on top. And then what you, what you would do for transport, there's one of two ways. You can either add wheels or you can keep the thrusters. And then you drive it up like a UFO and go wherever the wind takes you. Or you can put it on wheels and then go wherever the road takes you. In my, pace, in, in, in my case, I used thrusters. And I went to this uh, cliff like a UFO. Uh, now... In my case, I am in a server called Endless Endeavor. Uh, I am part of the United Neutrality Enforcers, and uh, we've just been through a battle. Uh, one of our ground bases has have, have, uh, been destroyed, so my job is in Triton, making and establishing uh, ground bases. Um, so in my case, I got the spawn pod, I went over here, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna destroy the whole um, ground pod. But, but, but before you do that, you would go over here, and some very important things that you would need is the basic assembler. assembler okay? You would make the, the basic assembler, and you would make the basic refinery. After you've done that, you would grind out your survival kit and put it over here or put most of it over here. Finally, you would use the rest of your ship um, resources to make a uh, some wind energy. And then, you would use the remaining power to hopefully produce some power cells for your battery. And that's it. The rest is optional. For example, the small cargo containers, the conveyor junction to connect this with the refinery, 
Um, and then since uh, usually the respawn pod gets um, deleted after you leave, you would grind up the whole entire spawn pod and then make something new out of it. So in my situation, I um, grinded the whole thing down, make sure to put a landing uh, gear so that you can build on top of it without any clang or without sliding off a mountain. And mine resorts to the uh, the H2, the O2 H2 generator, which by the way has bottles for you. I only have the hydrogen bottle, I'm gonna have to produce an oxygen bottle. Uh, we have two small batteries because we grounded that big one up from the spawn pod. Um, make sure to at least have two thrusters pointing upward and then the rest is pretty easy. Uh, so two thrusters going up, one thruster forward, one thruster backward, one, one on the side and one on the other side. Just very simple, just for, just for transport, trying to look at new locations. Make sure to uh, put GPS on your ores. For example, let's say you find a nickel ore, you press K on your terminal, you go to GPS, you press new from current position, and then once you do that, you type in the name you want, type in the color, you can put always visible. In my case, I don't want to. Uh, I usually just see it from far away. And uh, make sure to color code it so that you wouldn't get it uh, mixed up with other locations, and that's it. So now we have uh, silicone over there, uh, cobalt down here, and gold over there, iron here, things like that. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Uh, so just for a review here, uh, you need your spawn pod, you convert that spawn pod into a vehicle, you fly to wherever the wind or the road takes you, then you grind your survival, uh, no, you'd uh, make a basic assembler and a basic refinery, and then you'd grind your survival, um, your survival kit and move it over to here. Then you'd uh, grind a good chunk of your spawn pod to make some wind energy, not solar energy, because remember, that means that half the time, day, half the time, night. But this, it just goes in a very steady, in a very steady pace. So don't do solar panels, do, uh, do wind, do wind energy. Uh, make sure to get it higher. I'm on a mountain, so I don't really need to make it too high. And then once we've done all that, then uh, use the, uh, the assembler and the refinery to make some power cells, and that's it. Now that you've done that, uh, grind up your spawn pod entirely, and then make a transportation pod out of it. So yeah, um, I just wanted to make a short video. I haven't been here for a long time. Uh, but yeah, that's it. I, I hope you liked it. This is in Triton, by the way. Very cold, very icy. I actually like it. Uh, good for making some ice bases. And yeah, that's how you start at Triton, and that's how you start in almost every planet. Um, see ya. Yeah.